Okay, so we are now live, going to continue with the game engine, and today we're looking at gesture. So yesterday we wrapped up the QT for the mouse and the joystick. Today we are looking at the gesture stuff. This, you know, has been done. I think I did remove it last time. Yeah, I just didn't, because I'd done the commit, then I removed it. I was like, there's no point in really committing that little thing. It's only a minor change in the to-do. Okay, so gestures, what I was thinking was, it doesn't need all gestures. Like, the, one of the sort of design philosophies I want to use with this game engine is, it doesn't obviously need everything. It just needs, you know, features, and that we can extend those classes and have extra features as well. So as long as I've got some gesture system in there, I can extend that and add more gestures, improve it, etc., etc. Okay, so Herdingen says hello. Hello, her. Good to have you. So the gestures that I was thinking was be something like, like that. Being able to turn, you know, the stick. Obviously, we can do stick detection anyway. Um, with the controller stuff, that's. But you know, being able to let's say do half or you know something along those lines, they detect that it's gone clockwise or anti-clockwise you know just stuff like that essentially that's what i want to be able to detect so first of all i just want to see you know just what comes up when i do video game gestures you know see what sort of gestures come up because obviously you got the screen gestures i'm not talking about that yet obviously when we eventually port this over is it on the to-do list porting it over to ios and android I'll leave it off for now. I will leave that off. Okay, so when we do do some sort of porting over to mobile platforms, then we will add gestures for that stuff as well. Mm, there is some class that we've got. Mm, what gestures? What is it? Let me go to folder view. Sensor that was a, there really as a, isn't much implemented in that if anything at all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to the SFML files and see what features SFML provides. Anyway, I've pretty much abstracted out all of this, you know, put the abstraction layer on top of it. So for the most part, all the input should be in the engine anyway. But I just want to make sure that I haven't you know missed something. If I go over to the system, is it not system? Not system. Window, I guess. Okay, so joystick mainly, I guess. Uh, we got touch and sensor as well. Let's see what's in them. Okay, so we got joystick. Yeah, we got all of these implemented. Yeah, we got these implemented, so... Uh, what are these? Oh, that's just code example. Don't need code example. Okay, so... Yeah, da, 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 da. Already got this implemented as well. Is done. What's this? Is this? Okay, this is touch. I don't think I have this implemented yet. This is more for like sort of Android and iOS. You know, to don't have to be, could just be touch screen on a computer, I guess. I haven't tested it, but I guess that would work. Okay, cause they, okay so they got some sensor stuff. Accelerometer, gyroscope, mag magnetometer, gravity, use acceleration, orientation, etc. We are not looking into that. Those are generally mobile specific you know, hardware or accessible hardware. So, um, video game gestures. Mm. Not much use to me. That's just, uh, let's see, it's, they're very more complicated gestures. That's not really what we're looking at. Okay, let's ignore that. Let's have a look at what SFML provides for 
controller input. So obviously we've got some control input. Let's have a look at the joystick stuff. And then we got our two videos pop up right there. It is cool that my videos do pop up, you know, you're high up or depend on search sometimes first, but sometimes it gets annoying because I'll go on YouTube. Sorry. I'll go on YouTube and I'll be trying to find solution to a problem I'm having and I'll search for something and my videos will pop up and I'm like, doesn't really solve where I'm doing it. I might I might type up something, let's say, about joystick for example, and so it's like come up live joystick input. So that's great, obviously, to do with joystick. It's, it's, uh, that's not even saying that's going to fix my problem, but it's just that's not. That's, I, I know it doesn't do it because I created those videos. Okay. Mm. No ego rant over. Can I? Because it's the analog stick. I want to be able to detect. It'll be the axis of on it. Yeah. Let's. Let's have a look at them. So, yeah. Let's just do pole input. Get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of the rapido tick up. I'm gonna get rid of the QTE stuff. I'm happy with the way that's all gone. Get rid of that. Let's literally just start purging some of this stuff. Yep. Splash mm, stay, we can get rid of sequence as well, I guess. Build that bad boy. Make sure there's no errors, and then we'll continue. <coughs> then we'll continue. Mm. So we've got six people watching. Hopefully, everyone's having a good day. There might be more people watching on Facebook, more on Twitch. Oh, you know, I'll get a notification if anyone comments. But generally speaking, YouTube is the one where most people do watch. Okay, so we wanted to print off the axis stuff. STD colon colon C out. Let me connect this controller up first. Literally uploaded a couple of videos earlier on. One had to connect the Xbox, not this one, the Xbox Series X controller up to PPSSPP, which is a PSP emulator on Windows. Had to connect up the same controller up to X CXBXR, which is a original Xbox emulator for Windows. I'll be doing more tutorials like that as well for different OSs. Okay, so C out. What are we going to do instead? Of, what are we going to do here? We're going to say joy. Have access. Yeah, they are static. Okay, so we're gonna say joystick. Get axis position. Now we need to specify joystick ID. It is one. We need to specify the axis, so joystick axis I'm going to do one of each That's what I'm literally going to do, I'm just going to say one of each So now let's It was about six in total, I believe. There was Y. There's R. There's U. There's V. There's Z. I would do the last one as well. Last two pos X and pos. Was it pov or pov? The Pause. 
semicolon, let's run this bad boy, let's see what we get. Obviously de detecting little movements when I'm shaking the controller. It's not what we want. We need to put an end out. Without the end out, it is just a mess. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the second and third one, the second and third one, which is R and U, are coming up for the right analog stick. So left analog stick is, is the X and the Y. I'm guessing we'll probably get one, what? Probably get one for the triggers. That's interesting. Is the Supermail using the same one for both triggers? See, okay, he's technically using positive values. That's not good. Yeah, we might be able to overcome that. I think that does the other. Detecting when I'm is it, it, it stick just a bit dodgy and messed up. Yeah, because like these controllers don't have motion, so I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just a stick that's a bit messed up. Okay, so <laughs> if we do the left stick now. So let's just do the left stick. So let's just go boom, 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 boom. Okay. Barra log says using DirectX 12. Now this is using SFML, which is built on top of OpenGL and Win32 for the window rendering API mm, but I'm not dealing any of that low stuff anyway yeah I think it's literally just minor movements in the trigger that are getting picked up yeah, I'm just shaking the table see if we know what happens there okay so I want to see if I can figure out how this is working. Obviously that's X, minus 100 to 100. That's 100 to minus 100. Okay, so some common gestures that we would like to be able to implement are let me go to no, not notepad. Let me go to paint. 
And what we'll do is we will draw some of the gestures. Mm. We'd like to have this one. So where he's going. So it's basically like. And we'd like to have the opposite way around. Um, it's not really coming up the way that I wanted it to. One second, let me use. I've got this tablet. Let me see if I if this will work better for what what I want to do to show you. I want to involve the community as well in this. We got this. Here we on display graphics tablet. I'll be using this for a course that I'll be doing soon. I'm planning. I'm in the process of planning it and finishing another course. The course is a finance and economics course. My goal with that course is to provide so much information in there, and it's going to be. In, I think it could be potentially a multi year course that, that's how you know in depth everything is gonna be on it so it's not gonna be over quickly okay so I put the cable the other way around because it's not that long to be fair Hopefully this is not messing up the actual stream. Actually, let me have a look. The stream is still recording. It might lower the resolution a bit, but let me just let me just double check. Put the cable the other way around. It's not. Uh, I see what's happened with it. Okay, let me just fix that. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that, that should be fixed now. That long, to be fair. Check. Put the cable the other way around, because it's not. Uh, I'll see what's happened with it. Okay, let me just. Okay, so we're all good. So let me continue with this. Okay, so what we want to do is have one that's basically like, like that have one that's gesture like that once we figured one of these out the others should be pretty easy to figure out as well so with the controller gone we'll need to do something like so there there would need to do it down as well so we need to go I, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this but we'll figure it out I guess we could do it Mm. I guess we could go those are some gestures that we can do I guess we could do another gesture of essentially Let's do let's do these for now because we could do all the way around seventy five percent. We could even put set it so you can set a percentage of the way around or maybe you know, roughly. Uh, well, let's have a look. So I am. Um, I'll disconnect this display now. Because one, I can't really access the keyboard. I need more room on here. I will just put the display down here for now because it is something that I might need access to. Let me sort this out. Bear with me. It is so cool that you can do this on the fly with OBS. Okie dokie. Uh, 
That's interesting. If I'm not on focus, then you could get some random value. If I'm on focus. Okay. Let me just put this cable back. Black Fun says hi. Hello, Mr. Black Fun. Okay, so we know with the analog stick, if we do it that way in the x axis, that's minus 100 to 100. Minus 100 on the y axis starts up and then ends down. So if we wanted to do basically something like that. Uh, let's say it doesn't need to be all the way let's say so one of the things we will need to detect is if let me have a look at the have a look at it again let's say if it's beyond negative 50 or let you beyond in the negative direction on negative 50 then we can let's call that true we're just spitballing here how we're gonna do stuff this could be a multi-part feature episode but that's fine again the whole purpose of the engine is not to specifically have a end in mind in terms of a product i generally always have an end in mind with stuff but for this i want to have it a bit looser and just you know add features add features add features let's create a good series that people in several years maybe even 5 10 20 years can come back and be like ah this guy created a game engine plus there's stuff like what molly rocket's doing cherno nathaniel weiss I keep mentioning those guys but you know definitely check out their stuff as well jonathan blow thing i like about jonathan blow's stuff is i'm like so he might then person can be a, be a bit annoying some, sometimes I've only seen it obviously on videos but he talks quite deep in philosophy as well about certain stuff so that can be interesting and watching someone like him or Gio Hot is good because they've done stuff that have been really successful as well and then they're doing that sort of stuff that made them successful so it, you know it's it's a different experience to watching someone like the Cherno, which you know I'm sure he's doing fine financially. I'm sure he is, but you know ain't, he ain't Jonathan Blow and he ain't Geo Hots. You know he might be worth more than them. <laughs> Unlikely, but you never know. Okay, STD colon colon C out. We are gonna say actually. Let me see the quality of the stream because I did excellent connection. Good then. So I did actually up the what's it called today? The bit rate because it's always moaning saying the bit rate is like too low. And I was like, if my internet can handle it, it seems to be okay. Actually, I forgot. I needed to. I downloaded something. I needed to copy it over. Let me set this to copy. This is all legitimate. The name is not indicative of what it actually is. Bought another hard drive for my server. I won't need it yet, another 20 terabyte. I'll probably need it next year, but it was on Black Friday sale. And otherwise they're pretty expensive for, throughout the year. But usually like Black Friday, Prime Day, that sort of stuff, they come down a lot. Bought one, I was like, boom, yes. Let's whack it into the Plex 4 drive. Okay, so C out joystick get axis. No, let's do F joystick get axis position and we want it from number one we want the axis to be and for this gesture stuff I could potentially put it literally directly in the joystick class itself it doesn't have to be a whole new set of you know classes it could be abstracted out after if we need to okay so we could say get axis position 
and we're gonna say joystick axis the X so if that is less than negative 50 it's gonna say STD can't come out the out one and say true true dash one we'll have multiple tiers in here else I forget what the reload show code is. Control shift five. Did I fix the stream stuff? Yeah, I did. Uh, probably best if I remove that other one as well. Yeah, I'll remove that one as well. Where is it? I'll actually just remove this, yes. nope I'll leave that there I sh can just comment it again let me run that see what we get oh control shift 5 forgot okay we should keep getting false and true okay so we get so that's good so now it's not just about doing that we need to detect while it's still ah let me see what happens when I do that trying doing it so, so this is a lot more precise so let's turn that off yet no comments just want to check uh, I'll bet you if I do it less than negative 10 Okay, so yeah, I do. yeah, see, it's little features like this that you might see it may be unreal. That might you might have that built in, and you might oh, that's a basic feature. But that gesture thing. Let me have uh -huh. a, another Google. I was gonna say C++. I might put OpenGL. OpenGL analog stick gesture. Again, my tutorial don't want that. That might be something interesting to implement as well. Dead zone onto the joystick stuff. 
Lad on the to do. Lad the after. That's the whole point of the engine, just have as many features as we can. So it's going to be. What was it? I can't even remember the feature now that I'd like to add. I literally forgot. Dead zone. Dead zone. Analog sticks. I started to walk in dead world beyond yesterday or beyond world no world beyond i think it's called yesterday i watched the first episode it was okay i, I like the concept of it because you know if it's, after a while things as long as you got a bit of power within a group you, you know you get some sense of you know normalcies begin to come back so i have no doubt about that I'm not in any rush to watch the other thing, it's not like it was amazing. This was, it was alright. Yeah, I tried watching The Fear of the Walking Dead. I think I watched two seasons. I just got, it was boring. I heard it got better. It's something I think I will go back and watch. I will watch probably all of The Walking Dead as well. The, you know, they're still going. I feel like they pr probably will be finishing the scene with the walking dead but then they still got you know they got fear and they got world beyond and then they're gonna have the movie and then potentially other spin-offs as well so it ain't gonna be like you know let's say sopranos one series and that's it actually does sopranos ever have a spin-off the sopranos spin-off i know they got the sort of prequel thing coming out soon which is is this it with Gandalfini's son playing a younger version of him is actually that yeah Michael Gandalfini yeah his son uh, is this what it's called the many saints of Newark oh, okay so, so they're done with the movie then and it's coming out soon I am looking forward to that. Joey Diaz is in there. Huh. Okay, handle controller actions. Hmm. Yeah, does anyone know any Martin Schrader say? do what what am i doing i'm currently well overall if you're new to the stream i don't recognize the name so i'm gonna assume you're new i'm creating a game engine on top of sfml which is like a game framework this isn't low level opengl stuff the stuff like jonathan blow molly rocket cherno nathaniel wise doesn't do low level but it's still another worth while one checking out does anyone know of any, not necessarily guides, but people that have spoke about gestures on analog sticks? Because, you know, it's common stuff in games to have gestures. I just... Does anyone know of that stuff? Actually, let me do a more basic gesture first. Let me, instead of trying to do a harder one, let me just do this moving it left moving it right so obviously i can detect the difference you know the position but i want to just have let's say true or false has it done that gesture so herding do you know of anything like this online with your pretty knowledge overall about stuff so let me know if you do i'll continue with doing left right up and down and obviously that will be something so if it's moved left how would you detect that you're having to essentially detect 
the previous one and then the next one so when you're doing the poll we must be able to get let me open up the joystick CPP the joystick CPP get access position mm. uh, I was happy about this cord press stuff is connected uh, never looked into that fair enough i think a lot of stuff out there probably just doesn't cover it it's just like i think one of the things that if a game engine has it has otherwise people just don't look into it <laughs> But yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll, do, we'll implement left and right first. So even with left and right, or you know, just one axis, you're having to detect. You gotta detect what it currently is, then what the next one, and make sure it's further along in the direction that you want to go. Then usually it also can be time bound as well, so you can't keep only forever but we're not even going to consider the time aspect of it for now that could be something implemented later on or at a later date we're looking at if we're moving left it doesn't have to move or be all the way it could be up to 80 90 percent of the way of just that half so we would just say I mean, would technically just not this work? It's not the most elegant, it's not the best thing, but yeah, really, it should be based on speed, shouldn't it? Obviously, technically, that's done it, but obviously, I could. I am doing it very slowly. Technically, I guess that does work. But if we do implement time with this, we could say. But again, it's going to detect minor movements anyway. Like, no, I, think, I think that could work. Just, just, yeah, that could potentially work. So if I go back to joystick.hpp, and if I say, yeah, this will be a static method. Static ball and gesture is just uh, will be say is gesture activated activated because you're not pressing it is gesture triggered I prefer that not triggered triggered for now we're not even going to specify left, right, or whatnot. Let's just get it implemented. Let me just let me have a look. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Joystick. So we're gonna say bull joystick colon colon is gesture triggered. There we go, and instead of that, we will just return true. Whack a semicolon here. Return false. Get rid of that. Okay, so this is analog left gesture. 
So I guess this analog stick needs to, well there's a few parameters this actually needs to take. First of all, you need to take the actual ID of the joystick. So const unsigned int joystick ID. Next, you need to take the direction. Before that, let's take the axis. So let's take the axis, so we can say joystick axis. So let's do const joystick axis ampersand axis. And next, we need to take the you know, if it's left, right, up, down, whatnot. We can, what we'll do is we'll create an we'll create an enum, which we've already got. I'll copy this so we've got all the common system there. Gesture direction. I'm gonna say left, right, up. Down. Okay, so for now that's what we're doing. So we're gonna say oh is it direction? Is that not it? Oh just a direction. We're gonna say direction. Okay, so now what we'll say is here we're gonna say we're gonna say joystick ID. Here we're gonna specify the axis, and now we're gonna say if. Direction. Let's do some Yoda conditions. Direction is left. Then we'll do this. Let's do one for right as well. to do that anymore because that, that would do a bunch of else's that would be the most efficient way of doing it so I'm going to say else if else if else if I'm going to say right up down and if it's right, it's greater than 90. If it's up, it's, it is the... I don't need access. Do I need access? Ooh. Oh, the access eliminates that. Ooh. This is very interesting. Let's say left stick. Direction. We're not gonna have that anymore. We're gonna have only specify. You only specify left stick and right stick. Why don't you use switch on the direction? Could use a switch statement on the direction. Might be better. 
Uh, I'll be before I do that, one second. Uh, there's something else I need to do instead. I need to say. Let me copy that. Let's, oh. I need to basically specify the stick, so the anal which stick it is. So it's this left stick and right stick. I guess that's fine. Anal sticks. Let's say it's called it analog stick. Unlock sticks. Analog sticks. So we're going to say we need ID. We're not going to specify axis. We're only going to specify the stick itself. So we're going to say not axis. Analog stick. Analog stick. Copy that, paste it into there, boom, done, that should be all right. And so if it, if it is left, it is the X stick, X axis end off. So it, it is X axis. If it's right, it's still x-axis. If it's up or down, then it's y-axis. And this is greater than 90, boom, done. So that only does it for... Uh, yeah, how do we do it for the difference? Oh yes, X, Y, and oh, what was it again? We need to go back to this plus state. We then need to uncommon this out. I cannot remember which were the uh, control shift five for the right analog stick. second and the third one so moving left and right is the u axis moving up and down is the r axis u and r then u and r is essentially x and y is that what it is let me look at it again i'll go back onto it Alright. U and R, U and R. You and I, you and me, blah blah blah, yeah yeah yeah. So that's left, right, up and down. That's just for the left stick. So if Analog stick equals analog stick. Then we would just do something like this. Else, one second, let me close the window. Put it 
open it before because it's a bit warm, but not only is it cool now, more than cool, just hard outside. Okay, here we go, here we go. What is everyone looking to eat today? I'm interested. After I've done the stream, I'm gonna make some mashed potato and fish. I am excited for that. <laughs> okay, so we're doing Alsif for this. Alsif, analog, stick, right stick equals analog stick. Then it is almost all of this. It's U for this. And then R for this. We're ready to test this bad boy. Yeah. How you, okay, Arjun Yadav says, how you better understand coding? Share your way, please. Okay, so, you know, knowing what I know now, not just about that, about philosophy and other stuff, my first thing I'll say is like, what do you want to actually achieve with it? Obviously, you might not always know. You, you might just want to be a coder. It's fair enough, but that does help. But in terms of getting better, you know, work on projects. It, it doesn't have to be working on some open source project or a company. Make your own small projects. If you're learning how, just make a calculator. Calculator is always the example I always use because you can create something simple, like adding two numbers together, then extend it so you can choose between you know, add, multiplication, uh, subtraction, and division. Then extend it so you can do multiple numbers and unlimited amount of numbers. You can chain it extended so you can chain the different operations together, then add other operations, looking to adding like sin, cos, tan, percentages, that sort of stuff. So just extend it, work on stuff. Don't feel like, and I think a lot of people do this in any creative field is, or in, 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 creative, in, in any creative endeavor, is that they'll do a little bit and they'll be like, I, it's not very good, so I'm just giving up. Figure out that, just keep going, just do a little bit, a little bit, and over, it's gonna be a multi-year process. It will build up. It's it's not gonna be a few months. You may be able to show something superficial within a few months. I've seen like a friend of mine who was a coder. He did it for like look quite a while. Definitely not for two or three years. But you know he never did it at uni. I'm not saying that's the be all and end all. Trust me, it isn't. But he hadn't done it that long, and he was doing some stuff. I can't remember what languages it was, but it looked pretty, you know, cool. But because he hadn't done, I say as much as me he just lacked a few of the sort of problem solving skills so it's problem solving as well and i would say study mathematics study physics and study other subjects as well everything just feeds into each other regardless of what you're doing so have a study philosophy i know it's probably not the answer that you wanted but it's probably the most real answer you're gonna get you know on youtube regarding this and other stuff like this okay let's go to splash state so we're gonna say if I'm going to say STD. STD, C out, joystick is gesture trigger so we need the joystick id which is one we need the analog stick so let's test left and we're gonna say left 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 and then we're gonna say the direction which is going to be joystick direction left STD and L. And now let's run it. I'll go rerun. Thanks, bro. No problem. I love these sort of questions. So, you know, keep these sort of questions coming. And uh, uh, let me comment this out first. Okie dokie. Let me comment this out. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so I'll be doing. Yeah, I think that's worth. Yeah, it, it, now so I can detect left. Yeah, I think that actually that simple implementation works pretty darn well. Okay, so now let's detect it for right. And then it's easy to mess up a number. That's that's really what it's going to be most likely. It probably won't be messed up from any other reason. Okay, so that's a okay. And now let's test up. So I think I I think if any of them will be messed up, it'll be up and down because I may have messed up the values. If any. Okay, so. So blah, blah, boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's try down. And then we'll try the left stick, I mean the right stick, but I'm pretty confident with that one because this is the same code for the right stick. But again, it's different axes, so I messed up with the axes as well. Okay, that's fine. Now let's do the, let's do start back at left. But right stick this time. Okay, so uh, that works. Now let's do right gesture. Yeah, right's working. Now let's try up and down. Okay, up's working, now the fine, let's try down. I think if they're all working, this one should be good, good now. Okay, so we got left and right stuff in there, which is, you know, useful. So it's, don't quite have the gesture thing you know, that I really wanted there. Uh, I think I might have to implement that. So let's say that's minus 90. That's going to start going down, 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 down. Uh, I've got an idea of how to implement this. I will look at implementing this tomorrow. We've done an hour. We've made some good progress. I will be ending the stream soon. Let me see the stream health seems to have been good with this higher bitrate which is nice so i will stay on the stream for a few more min minutes if you have any questions about coding about this game engine stuff about life about work philosophy whatever let me know and then i'll wrap up and i'll be going to have some food i'll be doing another stream after So yeah, some questions if you have any.
Okay, so yeah, this is just Q&A question time before I wrap up the stream. Hmm. I'll put it in the chat as well, just in case. Q slash A time. Again, this is just question time because the stream will be <laughs> wrapping up soon. So, you know, if you have any questions, obviously we got 10 viewers at the moment. Literally, you're just going to be seeing me sit here for a few more minutes unless you have questions. You know, I'm great for the views, but obviously this is the time. Well, throughout the stream in general is the time to ask questions. But now especially because, you know, full undivided attention for the most part. The viewers are going up.
Abi say hi, say say hey, say hi, say hi, hello. The stream will be ending soon, Abi. If you've just joined, this is just Q and A time. Everyone's been very quiet. So, like, if you do have questions, let me know. Okay, so on the Discord group we have a new moderator. It is Herdin Gens, this awesome dude right here. He has been a big help. I'm gonna whack him as the moderator for the streams as well. Add as moderator. Uh, so he's a moderator for the channel. Uh, Okay, so he's a moderator on these as well. He's been a very big help. Okay, so nobody looks like, it seems like nobody really has any questions. I'm hungry, I wanna make some food. We've made some good progress. Let me just commit this bad boy over. So it is gestures. We just did basic gestures for left. I do remember you. Left and right stick. And we just did the left gesture, right gesture, up gesture, down gesture, bomb done. Let me commit this. I have a question. Fire away. It's probably one of the last questions I answer. But, uh, hey, hey, the p people in here are always nice. No need for a moderator. Yeah, but it's, you know, I just feel nice to have one. But the people are very nice. The community is awesome. What programming languages are you using? Okay, I'm using C++. I am creating a game sort of engine on top of the SFML framework, but C++. Somebody's already requesting somebody to be banned. Let's have a look. He's saying, look at his message history. How do I look at some of these message history on here? Can I? On the mobile app? When you say actual private messages, I, I don't know if I can actually see them. Yeah, I can't be seeing them. He is C++ for this project. Thank you, Herdin again. Yeah, it's like that. Even if you don't have to moderate, when you see a post 
from you know this label or you know this label with the gear icon you just know that it's someone with i want to say authority but someone with a bit more credibility so it, i don't see the moderator role just as moderating but for someone people can not look up to but you know look to for help Okay, so last time I'm going to let this go to 47 and if there's no more questions, I will be ending the stream. So the stream will be ending momentarily and then I can go and make some mashed potato and fish. I'm having half a kilo of potatoes worth of mash, probably about 600 grams of potatoes peeled, so it would be about five, half a kilo, then a bit of margarine and milk in there. I will be having three pieces of fish, two salmon fillets, and a, I think it was cod fillet as well. I think you meant wrench knock gear. Yes, wrench knock gear. Nice spot. And yeah, I was, I was only going to have one salmon, one cod. No fancy cod this time, but Yulia, you have a couple of salmons. But when I packed them up, when I got them from Macro a few weeks ago, I packed them up as two salmon in each freezer bag. And only one card per bag so if if i'm gonna defrost it it's like it's, it's too much hassle just to just try and get one out oh like i'll just have three in total it's only three fillets in pieces of fish uh, it's, a, it's a minor amount so i'll be having them i'll make some peas as well with them i forgot any peas yeah i've got some peas left I need to go and get some more veggies for the freezer. Some peas. Get some sweet corn as well. I won't get the mixed ones. So the mixed ones can sometimes be okay, but I find sometimes they can, they're just a bit weak. Sorry, got to go. That's fine. It is 47. I'm wrapping up anyway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. The stream is now ending. <laughs> the views are spiking now. That now that I'm going, the views are spiking. They're probably thinking, yeah, he's going. We'll, we can just see more of not him. Okay. And da, da, da. have a good day. And blah, the blah, the blah, the blah, blah, the blah, the blah. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next stream. I'll be doing one tomorrow, continuing with this gesture stuff as well. So that'll be part two of the gesture, and later on I'll be doing a gameplay stream as well on the PS5. Hopefully that works. I've had some issues with the broadcast gameplay stuff. I've got a HDMI one in, two out coming, I think, tomorrow, and that should help me use my capture card while still being able to use my surround sound with proper DTS or Dolby Digital. I want DTS, but either one of the basically codecs, I should be able to use that. And then I'll be doing more streams regardless of whether the PlayStation allows you or not. Keep up the good work, my friend. Thank you, Talha Kagate Isik. Isik. I know I didn't pronounce your name right, but thank you very much. And I will see everyone tomorrow or later on in the game.